can you say? I can say a fair amount. I can tell you that Castiel is dead. <laughs> um, that we open on Castiel dead. Um, and that he stays dead for a little while. Um, which is a, a, an acting challenge, for sure. Because you have to hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't move around a lot. Only dead for a little while? Dead for the better part. Uh, I don't know what I, I'm not supposed to tell you. you tell us. <laughs> My next question would be, what is your definition of a little while? Uh, longer, than, uh, longer than you would expect, actually. So I, I think that people are going to be like, oh, wow. He's really dead. So while Castiel's dead, if yeah. you could come back and play another character on the show for an episode, yes. which character would you want to play? Um, hmm. Well, you know what I would like to play, honestly? I'd like to play... I'm interested in when we get to start exploring characters in beyond, in, beyond the rift, in the parallel universe. Um, because it gives us all the opportunity to potentially play totally different iterations of our own characters. Um, like, possibly you find a Castiel in, in the other dimension who has no moral compass or something like that. Um, I, we haven't yet gotten to, the, to those stories, uh, but I assume that we're going to play with that because it's such a cool playground. Continue to delve into this character further and further throughout the seasons. Is there anything you still find you're surprised to learn about yourself as an actor? Um, <clears throat> well, I think that the thing that I notice that I get I get most excited about is when there's change for the character. So just as an actor, it, it's more exciting to play uh, changes, um, and I think that we get that a lot on the show, so I have been satisfied with it. No. You said you directed before, but it's been a while. Yes. Did they scar you for life, or are you going to try again? <laughs> um, I, I have been so busy lately. Like, when you direct an episode, it, it means doing basically two episodes, because it's about that much time, because you have a full prep week, plus you do, like, actually on the ground with support prep week. But you also have a little bit of time that you work on it, prepping on your own. Then you have the week of shooting, and then you have post. Uh, not week, eight days of shooting. So all in all, it ends up being like you're adding two full episodes to your plate, and my life hasn't felt like it has had a lot of space in it lately. Um, so that has been part of why I haven't been pushing for another episode um, but you know we'll see uh, if I if I stay dead long enough I, I have some time <laughs> yeah um, things like Gishwiz take up my time um, which is uh, you know very gratifying thing uh, and people seem to love it and I love doing it but it takes up a lot of time and so I I have to like I also have to see my family and things like that apparently um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to throw out a little um, uh, plug for Gishwiz, which because uh, registration closes tomorrow. So if you happen to, you know, be able to get that word out there, we're doing some pretty cool stuff. I just posted a video about the Syrian families that we saved last year on uh, social media this morning. And I got the video this morning, and it was like, I started crying. I was like, oh, that's so awesome. So awesome. We get to see this family. And this is the last year of Gishwiz, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Any particular reason why? Um, you know, so it sort of goes back to what we were talking about with Castiel. Um, I like I like change. I like doing something different. And Gish was has been about from the in it, from its inception. It was about pushing boundaries, doing something different, um, and going into unexpected places. And I feel like just for myself. It, it's starting to feel like I, I know what happens with Gishwiz, and I don't like that. So I want to do something totally different um, and maybe better. I don't know. Hopefully better. But yeah. Um, and then obviously we had the person at the panel who even mentioned the different causes and charities you guys do. 
when you get a fan or even just anybody you felt who comes to you and says that, it's got to be, like you said, very, very gratifying. Um, do you have any ideas for what might be next then, for what could be your next kind of campaign? Or? <clears throat> um, I don't want to spoil it. Well, I know what I'm doing uh, with this coming Gishwas. We have a plan to do something um, that is, I can't reveal until the hunt starts, but it'll be, um, it's going to be a very cool thing that I think will make a lot of people cry, which is always a measure of success <laughs> for me. Um, and it's a very ambitious undertaking. I'm like, are we really trying to pull that off? But we are. So we're doing something cool that I can't tell you about. How about that? Sounds great. Thank you. Thank now, you. Uh, there's going to be a spinoff. There's going to be a spinoff. Uh, Wayward Daughters. I don't know what they're going to call it. Sisters. Sisters. They're going to call it Sisters. Is that a spoiler? No. No. Oh, no. I just said no. Uh, do you see a possibility of Cassiel making yeah. some? I mean, you know what? I We have not uh, discussed that at all. Um, that hasn't come up, and I don't think that they have really thought that far in advance. I definitely don't think that the, that, that series has been written past right. what is the functional pilot episode, um, which is still being written as well. Um, but that is, uh, the idea is that it will be embedded in the um, regular Supernatural season, but it will also function as a pilot. And if it looks like all of the right ingredients are in there and the chemistry is right and people uh, you know, are drawn to that pilot, then they'll go to series for, uh, for that. So and at that point, I think they might talk about you know, peppering in some crossover stuff or whatever, like they do with a lot of Berlanti, Greg Berlanti's shows right. on the CW. Right. Um, so uh, we've never discussed it, and I'm totally speculating, but I don't see why that couldn't or wouldn't happen, because they are characters of the same world, um, so it would make perfect sense. And it would actually probably be a smart thing to do, because it would help seed the new show. You know, you could bring in a few popular characters from Supernatural and try to to uh, translate that audience. <laughs> exactly. Exactly.